Back at 743, Governor Jeff Landry's special session on crime and bills uh, has, has wrapped up, I should say, and uh, several bills are expected to be signed today and tomorrow into law. Many of the bills include um, the right to carry a gun without a permit. Uh, some of these other bills have caused some controversy, especially locally in the New Orleans area. Uh, with us with his thoughts on the session and what's come out of it is Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Responti. Joe, good morning. Good morning. So two quick things, Joe, about the special session. Um, what should we see as the big takeaways from this session and uh, what impacts law-wise are we going to see, especially in the New Orleans area post some of well, these laws passing? I think um, they passed and very, very easily, very quickly, they passed the no parole anymore basically and they've cut good time so that's going to mean it's going to be harder to get out of jail and you're going to be in jail longer which will a lot of people like that but it will also increase the prison population we may be the most incarcerating place in the planet again and it will cost more money uh, also uh, they did they went back and made 17 year olds adults again which I, I think even though I'm for, for that, I think those are the guys committing a lot of the crimes. And something I was very for is that they've um, made the juvenile justice system more transparent so we can see who these recidivists are and who the judges are that keep letting, letting them out. So those are good things, but I think the one that we need to watch the most around here is the concealed carry uh, law which allows anybody to just carry a, con a weapon concealed in their pocket or waistband or whatever uh, and I think that that is from all the police I know is going to put a, a big damper on their ability to uh, confiscate these weapons get them off the street but I think that what we may want to look forward to is they're going to do a, a maybe a legislative carve out to say the city of New Orleans downtown etc or just a small part of the city is going to be a gun-free zone of, of a sort because because I'm telling you what goes on in the French Quarter is a little different than what goes on in Bunky and I think we can maybe come to a happy resolution to say you guys can carry your weapons there but we can't have that on Bourbon Street. So that caveat or that change or the not necessarily amendment but addendum to that legislation will likely see being discussed during this regular session. I think so it's going to be a whole new law yeah. So the other big story we wanted to talk to you about and get your opinion on is uh, the latest out of the city of New Orleans, uh, the city council and the mayor uh, over the Pontalba apartment. Of course, six months ago, these, the city council voted to revoke the mayor's access to this apartment, uh, but we've come to find out that sh the mayor's office still has the only set of keys and personal belongings essentially for the mayor uh, in, in that apartment still. This, the council gave her until noon yesterday to turn the keys over or give them a plan for vacating the premises. She didn't, so now there's going to be a vote come Thursday to possibly evict. Right. What does that look like? What does that mean exactly? <laughs> well, what does eviction look like? It looks like uh, your furniture's out on the sidewalk is what eviction looks like. I think this is a, a, a profound manifestation of, of the mayor's hubris and recalcitrance to just dig in her heels and say, no, uh, I'm not moving out. And... Uh, I don't get it because they're going to move her out. So what a waste of time. What a waste of time and resources of the council, the mayor's office, just because one person says, I'm not going to give you the keys back. So it's silly, but um, hope, hopefully it'll come to a resolution. It may come to an ugly one. So you're saying before Thursday, things this come, could come to a resolution, but come Thursday and, and after, what we could essentially see is what you'd see in any regular situation of eviction where a notice is put up and then the sheriff's office would come in and get yes, involved with those items? Yes, ma'am. That's what happens and that's what appears to be uh, on the horizon unless somebody doesn't come to her senses and fork over those keys. So we have to see what happens between now and Thursday uh, when that uh, council vote on eviction comes up. Joe, a lot happening and we are only on March 5th. It seems like this has been a long year already. Uh, we'll, we'll keep you around to help us uh, navigate Thanks. all of these, le Thanks. <laughs> this, these legal waters. We appreciate, appreciate your time. that. All right. All right, Joe. 740